everyone and welcome to another Fallout 76 guide and today I'm going to show you how can you make 1500 caps per day it's a solid way to get that much money every day by doing a very simple strategy so all in all all you have to do is gather useless items things you don't want by killing mobs or scavenging around and then you sell to the seven vendors from different factions so yeah that's basically all you have to do but let's start with the perks that can maximize this strategy so you basically want to need these two perks to you know get things going a little bit better uh, the travel agent, because you need to travel quite a bit, and the hard pay gain, because you're going to be selling a lot of items to the vendors. So this allows you to sell less items for more money, which means scavenging less. Also, you can have cap collector to increase money from cap stashes. But I have another tip for you. If you have a camp, you probably do. Invest in water supplies, probably more than one, because this way you can produce a lot of purified water and that sells quite well in my opinion, so it's, it's just free money that is being generated in your base. As I was saying, the main strategy here is to sell as many wanted items as possible, and for that you have to kill or scavenge but if you already have a lot of junk in your inventory then you can start going to the vendors one by one or you can follow the route that I have selected for you but again it all depends if you have a camp for example I have my camp in the middle of the map so it makes things a little easier to manage alright so let's move to the actual vendors route this is a very famous map with all the factions and there are seven colors and each color means one different faction and that's 200 caps for you yes now the goal is to visit every single faction and sell items worth of 200 caps that's as easy as that anyway i have created this route so you don't spend too much money going north and then south and then going back to the middle of the map that's not effective and I think this route will help you, especially if you don't have a camp or one that is in the middle, uh, which is always handy in my opinion. Okay, so if you have no loot right now to sell, you can head to the Riverside Manor and basically kill everything you can find and gather uh, guns, armor, medical supplies, even junk. Just carry as many things as you can and um, don't get over encumbered of course but as many as your inventory allows then what you want to do is head to one of the responders vendors there are two close to this location that's why i have selected it in the first place and the closest one is the fire breeders um, facility but it's usually bugged for me so it might be bugged for you as well just a quick note there is a cap stash in here actually two but the first one is just ahead it's here under this bed so it might be useful for you if you come here anyway as i was saying i have um included two responder stations nearby and it's up to you to visit whichever you prefer now there is another cap stash i will show you the location it's right here at the garage sadly it was not here for me but it usually spawns there now you can head to the fire department or to the charleston station which is a little bit to the north i will show you the path in case you are not sure how to get there but yeah, this one is usually bugged for me with zero caps, even though I didn't sell anything to the responders. So if this happens to you, you can simply go a little bit north to the Charleston station and sell everything you have collected so far that you don't need. And make your 200 caps of today. 
Keep in mind that medical supplies sell really well too, like rod the ways, rod axes, any buffs you might have, even food or junk. Everything you have really that is too much and you don't need, you can just tell that's what I usually do and I have no problems really. Sometimes I don't even need to farm just to do this. And of course the water that you collect from your base. And that's it, 200 caps are yours. Now let's go to the White Spring Resort, where you can find one to two cap stashes. The first one is right to the right here in this locked door. It's usually here for me. The other, not so much. I have found it, I think, twice in the last week. It's supposed to be here under this counter at the bespoke shop then you can just head to your favorite shop or any shop whatsoever and start selling all your stuff i still had some left that's why i didn't go to a new location to farm and i just sold whatever i don't really need starting by food some glowing blood more water and 199 more caps for you. The next step is going to the enclave. If you didn't do the missions or the first one to enter, please check the walkthrough that will come up up there. And the first thing you should check is this cap stash on the roof. It's often there as well, and it's just free money. By the way, if you wish to learn how can you farm a lot of caps in the forest region, check or walk through also the link is above there now you can sell all your junk here at the general terminal and you can also check the armory vendor for um mods for your power armor and look for the jetpack and you can also look for another cap stash inside and that's another 199 caps for you Alright, so now I will show you how to get to the Armory shop very quickly. It's right here. Nothing good, so let's move along. And the other cap stash should be just ahead. In here, yes, it's here. And another 42 caps. All right, the next stop is at the Raiders Vendors. There are two up there, but I usually go to the hidden one, not the station one. But as you can see, there are many enemies here. Sometimes they are super mutants. Sometimes they are mole rats. Sometimes they are even scorched, but they all drop plenty of weapons, armor, uh, all sorts of things really. And they are all good to sell. A tip for you in here, don't uh, be scared to get over encumbered because the sellers, both of them are very close. So all you have to do is kill and loot as much as you think um, will be enough to generate 200 caps and then head to the shops. You can do it by walking, it's quite easy and quick. But if you prefer, you can just teleport as soon as you are close to reach your inventory limit. Now I'm heading to the somewhat hidden vendor. He is inside this building. And there is generally a boss, as you saw, the guy with the crown. With even more items for me to sell. It's very nice. I love bosses, they're so kind. So just kill everything inside, otherwise you won't be able to sell. They will keep hitting you. And here is Defender. And you can start selling and selling. Start by selling your weapons and armor because they have the most weight to free your inventory. 
And if you have enough, you can just head to the next location without even, you know, killing and scavenging a lot. And there you go. 200 caps more for you. Harper's Ferry is our next stop. And here, there are plenty of enemies on the way to kill, so you really don't need to worry whether you have no loot to sell or just a little bit or a lot because you will be forced to fight on your way to the vendor because it's located literally in the middle of this town. And again, you can find super mutants or scorched and they all drop very nice things to sell. Especially the weapons. The weapons always sell very nicely because they are um, quite high level. Therefore, the items you drop will be around their level. And the higher the weapon is, the more value it holds to the vendors. And the good thing about mutants, they also drop caps. So I'm not counting them as part of her profit. So keep in mind that you will make even more profit if you are killing super mutants just for the single fact that you are collecting cap rewards every single time well almost every single time because not every super mutant drops them but i would say it's like a 90 percent chance to drop caps So once you are done killing them, you can just go for it here and get past the workbenches and the vendor will be right here. Now all you have to do is get rid of your junk and collect your 200 caps. Hmm. When you are selling armor, keep in mind that sometimes it bugs out and it doesn't tell you which armor is being used under your power armor. So be careful not to sell, sell uh, your armor pieces. It happened to me before and it's very annoying because the game doesn't show you and you think Hey, I just picked this up. This is not what I'm wearing, right? So don't end up selling your armor. And there you go, 200 more caps for you. We have to go to the Watauga region now. If you don't have loot, please head to the emergency services. There is plenty of loot there for you. If you have plenty of loot, you can skip this part and head to the next robot seller, which is at the um, market district. So I will try to be as quick as possible in here. There are safes, there are medical supplies, there are legendaries. By the way, if you wish to learn more about this area, there are around... No, there are more than 10 legendaries in Motoga. You can check her in-depth guide as well. And learn how you can farm legendary items in Motoga. Again, in this place, you can either find super mutants or scorched ghouls, even legendary or boss Wendigos. It's quite random. But despite what you find here, they drop very nice stuff to sell. And it's a quick run. Plus, it's very close to the sellers, both of them. Again, yes, I know. That's why I have picked it for you. All right, so again, you can get over encumbered here. There is no problem. You can just walk there. Actually, I will show you the way. The quickest way to get to the next vendor by walking. So, after you kill everything or loot as much as you want, you can head out. 
through the same way you got in. Or you can just teleport to the shopping plaza. Okay, so all you have to do is just go for it from here. You can collect some drinks if you want. And it's basically a straight walk. There's no real science here. You should also try not to get stuck like me. And kill all these annoying robots because they will shoot at you and interrupt you while you are selling. And we don't want that, do we? Okay, the robot is here. And you can start your journey of selling everything you don't need. It's a very difficult path to take. Sometimes it is, actually. I don't know what to sell and I end up selling, you know, without even thinking much. Anyway, more 200 caps. Yes, you got it. You can also check the plans, by the way. That robot has some decent ones. Anyway, if you don't have enough loot, you can head to the Watoka High School. And you will most likely find this event where ghouls will keep spawning, which is great. You will get XP. And a lot of items to sell, which is great. Now, do keep in mind that if you find this event, it has three stages and it can last quite some time. I will not cover all of it in here for obvious reasons. I don't want to end up with a 13 minutes video. So all you have to do is clear the building or if you prefer and you are doing the event, Finish the event so you can get the rewards and then you can head to the last vendor. Another nice thing about this place is that most of the ghouls drop caps too. Once again, you will making more profit than the one I'm telling you you will, which is always a great thing. I mean, at least it's not like most of these guys out there that promise you a 5k I even someone with 8k per hour, which is completely absurd in my opinion, and they're straight lying to your face. There is no way you can make 8k caps per hour. That's just... I mean, even if you are super lucky and you can find every cap stash in the game, it's still very unlikely. So once you're done, you can just head outside and the last vendor is here. And yep, you can start selling all the things you don't want or need. And you can also scrap all the junk you have. And that's it, 200 more caps are yours, or soon to be in this case. But yes, this is my daily strategy. I think it's a very solid and guaranteed way to make this amount of caps every single day. You have to do almost nothing much. And you don't have to be looking for cap stashes and server jumping all the time. You just have to sell everything you don't need. As simple as that. So I hope you enjoyed this guide. If so, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. My name is Marta Branco. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.